I'm so excited. We're on episode three. <laughs> episode three of this little Twitch series that I've been doing here on my channel and I am super, super pumped. Um, I actually filmed the paint for this video on the 22nd, June 22nd. I'm filming this portion of the video uh, June 27th and by the time you guys see it, it's gonna be uploaded, published, and for viewing on the 28th. Like this is one paint that I thought was so cute and then I was like, I showed it to a couple of friends and family and they were like, oh my God, I love it. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you. I feel like it's the most complicated paint that I've done so far. And I just like it. It's one of like the ones that actually came out from my head to my body and I'm excited. I'm already working on episode four as well. So I feel like the series is coming along very quickly. I just graduated from college as well. So it's like everything is like flowing. I, I've been able to do more film stuff, uh, but like my whole week has been like completely booked and just like shot pretty much for a lot of other film stuff. But like I said, tomorrow, by the time you guys see this, it'll be the 28th today from when you're viewing and then the next day the 29th is when i'm filming for episode four and i'm gonna try to do like photos and everything else like that it's gonna be really really cool um i'm excited i feel like the series is coming along so well and i am really hoping to finish this series we're not even halfway done yet but i'm really hoping to like finish the series by the end of this year along with like other photos as well or not photos other videos as well um so I, i'm excited i don't know i rambled on too long already okay let's just get started so the next video suggestion for today's video is coming from made you look over on twitch she is also one of the og body painters in my opinion here on youtube she is amazing she is the person that got me into body painting and the whole world of special effects makeup and for today's video she suggested that i would paint myself as a sock monkey so in order to create this look, I'm using Mehron's Water Active Body Paint Basic Palette. I'm going to be using all the colors in this palette except for brown. So I'm first taking a white body paint, I'm outlining the muzzle around my nose and mouth, and then filling that in with the same white body paint. I'm then just going to paint rainbow stripes starting with red and ending with purple, starting with the top of my head and ending down on my chest. I'm 
as you can see, this is what it's gonna look like when it's completely finished. So I'm literally just gonna copy what I did here on my face and just reprint it down on my chest. And then just going back in with white body paint and fixing up any areas over the muzzle that may have gotten a little bit of paint in them. In order to create the stitching and or the sewing or knitting pattern that a sock monkey has, what I'm going to do is the same method that Lex used in her video, which is creating little Vs starting with one side. Now when I did this, I made sure to have very little white body paint. In Lex's video, she used a very light version of the color that she's on top of, and then went back with an even lighter version of that color for the other side. However, I'm just using white body paint the entire time. However, I'm not dipping my brush in the paint as often as I'm doing the first side, so that way it blends with the color underneath of it a little bit more. I just did a small section so that way you guys can see what the whole piece is going to look like finished and I'm going to repeat these steps throughout the entire paint. I also created these cute little ears for the sock monkey out of cardboard and a little bit of paint and I'm just attaching them using eyelash glue and I'm using Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. I'm then completing the look just using a white beanie. At this point, I thought the paint looked so cute and adorable and I loved it and I was feeling so good until my mother regretfully informed me that I don't look like a sock monkey. So a signature sock monkey has these big red lips that we all know and I was really debating on whether or not I wanted to put red lips on this paint because I already thought it was so cute and the red lip honestly just gave me clown vibes and I think it was just because of the white face and then the big red lips but in the end I put them on because it is true you are not a sock monkey unless you have your big red lips. <laughs> 